Nearly all data scientists utilize SQL for data exploration and analysis. SQL appears deceptively simple yet offers a certain degree of interactivity, making it exceptionally effective for these purposes. However, as complexity grows, SQL becomes significantly more intricate, losing its simplicity. For example, calculating the longest consecutive rising days of each stock and conducting funnel analysis on e-commerce user behavior data. These examples all involve using multiple nested subqueries, which are not only difficult to understand but also challenging to write. There are many similar tasks. These complex requirements often necessitate multi-step procedures and involve operations dependent on order. Implementing them in SQL may be highly convoluted, often requiring hundreds of nested lines across multiple layers. Lives of data scientists are consumed in SQL writing. Moreover, SQL debugging is also very troublesome. SQL lacks common debugging methods such as setting breakpoints and stepping into code. Instead, it must be debugged by disassembly and step-by-step -step analysis. When SQL is relatively short, it's bearable, but when nested in multiple layers, it needs to be split and executed layer by layer, which becomes very troublesome. Lives of data scientists are consumed in SQL debugging. SQL performance is also not ideal. The performance of SQL heavily depends on database optimizer. For example, fetching the top 10 from 100 million records involves using order by in SQL, which means big sorting and leads to very slow performance. In this case, the database can automatically optimize such as maintaining a small set of the top members, allowing for faster calculation with just a single traversal. This significantly enhances performance. However, optimizers can only manage simple scenarios, not complex ones. If the task shifts to finding the top 10 in each group, the complexity doesn't increase significantly, yet it often overwhelms most optimizers, leading to literal sorting and a sharp decline in performance. Data scientists often face far more complex challenges, such as e-commerce funnel analysis. In such cases, SQL can become highly intricate, rendering optimizers essentially useless. It's not uncommon for these queries to run for hours or even a full day. Lives of data scientists are spent waiting for SQL execution. The database cannot directly compute external data. It must first be loaded into the database. Text, Excel, and web data require preprocessing to conform to database constraints, a cumbersome and time-consuming process. Lives of data scientists are consumed in the trivialities of SQL. SQL has various setbacks, prompting data scientists to explore alternative tools like Python. Python surpasses SQL in several aspects, such as ease of debugging, procedural computation, and openness. However, Python also has flaws. Pandas, a third-party library for Python, offers rich calculation functions, making certain calculations simpler compared to SQL. However, handling complex scenarios may still be challenging. For instance, calculating the longest consecutive rising days for each stock mentioned earlier requires cumbersome coding in Python, often necessitating hard-coded solutions using a for loop. Lives of data scientists are still being consumed. Python has many IDEs, powerful debugging capabilities like breakpoints, which surpass SQL, eliminating the need for code disassembly. However, inspecting intermediate values still primarily relies on the print method, which needs to be removed after debugging, proving somewhat cumbersome. Python lacks capabilities for big data processing. While the pandas library can perform in-memory calculations, like sorting and filtering directly, it struggles with datasets larger than memory. This often necessitates segmented processing with hard-coded solutions, resulting in more complex code. Python's parallelism is superficial. To harness multiple CPUs, data scientists often require complex multi-process techniques that are beyond the reach of many. If unable to write parallel code, data scientists are left with only slow serial execution, which can be exhausting. SQL is no good and Python is also not good. What can truly rescue data scientists? Esprec SPL, a tool specifically designed for structured data processing. SPL is the formal language of Esprec, characterized by its conciseness, ease of understanding, and convenient debugging. It supports big data and delivers high performance, 
fundamentally addressing limitations of SQL and Python. SPL makes calculating the longest consecutive rising days for each stock simpler, eliminating any loop statements. E-commerce funnel analysis with SPL is simpler and aligns more with natural thinking. This code can handle any step funnel, offering greater simplicity and versatility compared to SQL. SPL also offers comprehensive debugging capabilities, such as setting breakpoints, running to cursor, stepping in, and more. Calculation results for each step are displayed in real time on the right side, eliminating the need to spend energy on dissecting subqueries or manual printing, which is highly convenient. SPL offers a cursor-based access method for big data that exceeds memory capacity. Importantly, the code for in-memory computing and external storage computing remains almost identical, requiring no additional workload. SPL supports thread-based parallel computing, allowing full utilization of multiple CPU cores. Enabling parallel computing is very simple, just adding an at M option, ensuring convenience. SPL facilitates writing code with low computational complexity and achieves faster execution. For instance, in the previously mentioned top end problem, SPL treats top end as aggregate computation, avoiding big sorting in the calculation logic and achieving significant speed improvements. This capability is inherently supported and doesn't rely on optimizer assistance. Moreover, the code for top end within each group and across the entire set is similar. Both are straightforward and run quickly. SPL also offers a wide range of high performance algorithms such as search, traversal, join, and clustering operations, many of which are unique innovations of SPL. These algorithms lead to a dramatic skyrocketing in computational performance. SPL naturally has openness and can directly calculate diverse data sources, such as CSV, Excel, and other data files as well as various relational and non-relational databases, and can also handle multi-layer structured data such as JSON and XML. No need for loading data into database, saving valuable time on data organization. SPL offers high-performance file formats that are efficient and portable. In contrast, Python lacks a dedicated storage solution. Text files are slow, and databases sacrifice portability. SPL also has good enterprise features. Data scientists can integrate SPL into applications by embedding its jars, facilitating smooth transitions between inside and outside applications after completing exploration and analysis. With SPL's simplicity, ease of debugging, high performance, openness, and ease of integration, data scientists are liberated from heavy coding work, enabling them to focus more on understanding business logic. SPL is now open source. Please feel free to download and give it a try.